is it clear that it's not a matter of trigger for me that that this is this is it? I mean, that <laughs> well, it's just nothing is clear. <laughs> I mean, there is of course a difference between being identified with me or Say there's a difference, yes. It's the, it's the collapse of the illusion of imprisonment. So the difference is you could say freedom, but it's not freedom for anyone, it's just freedom. If you want. Well, no words can express this, it can't be known. You know, if it could be known, you could put it into a word. But the nearest I can get to it is the difference is imprisonment or freedom. But the imprisonment is for someone and the freedom is for no one. <laughs> if there's no one to know anything, how can you be sure that it's not no, a oh, no, oh, no. Me. There's no forget being sure. <laughs> I mean, it's very interesting. I've been reading some um, people who teach self inquiry recently, and they're absolutely certain. First of all, they're certain that they exist, which is sweet because it's actually just. Self-consciousness, actually, it's just another form of it in the story. And they're also sure, you know, that all there is is present awareness or knowing. They, they know that there's only knowing. They're absolutely certain of that. When, when liberation comes, there isn't anything that's certain. There isn't anything that's left. Shit. Oh, I know. <laughs> That's what the seeker is frightened of. Mm -hmm. So that's why the seeker goes on seeking for an object called personal enlightenment, because it feels much safer.